What's up everybody? Welcome back to Jay's Car Channel. In today's video, I'm doing a 50-50 on a windshield on a 2011 Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. I'm gonna show you guys the before and after and let you see how much clarity we'll gain by cleaning the inside of the windshield, using a glaze to remove all the haze and oil and grime that's in there. And also I'm gonna clay and clean the exterior of the glass as well as apply a, a ceramic coating and show you the before and after. So as a disclaimer, I just wanna say using this glaze it's fine on a windshield that doesn't have tint, but if your windshield is tinted, you need to use a different cleaner. I just want to put that out there for everybody. This glaze process on the inside of the windshield is really simple. You really just need three things. You need Adam's Brilliant Glaze, you need an applicator, which this is a little microfiber block applicator, and you need a good microfiber towel. This is a FTW for the windows towel from the rag company. These are excellent for glass and work well for this process. Take your glaze, shake it up, Apply a couple drops to the microfiber applicator. You don't need much. Just four or five drops. And then you're going to take this applicator. I pretty much like to draw a square. And I'm going to move this mirror a little bit so I can get all the over. Draw a square. And then fill that square in. Try to get down to the very bottom of the windshield if you can. And then you can cross hatch it. I went up and down, now I'm going side to side. Now it's hazed up. It immediately hazes up. Take this FTW towel and go through and easily wipe this off. So that's how quick and easy you can do it. Now we're gonna set up on the outside and do the exterior glass and do just the driver's side once again. And then we'll take a look and see how much clarity we've gained side to side and do a comparison. So looking forward to showing you guys how much of a difference this makes. Here we go on the exterior. So for the exterior glass, there are four steps I'm gonna go through. The first is to clean the surface using diluted rinseless wash and a microfiber towel. That should remove dirt and grime and road film. The second step is to clay the surface with a clay bar and diluted rinseless wash. The clay process will remove bonded contamination such as sap and bird bombs and any tough to remove substances the first step didn't fully remove. Third, I'll be using an isopropyl based cleaner to remove any leftover residue or contamination. This will allow the coating to bond better to the surface. The fourth and final step will be to apply the ceramic coating and this specific coating is called Nano Glass by Pearl Nano. It's super easy to apply and should give about a year or more of water beating along with making the cleaning of the windshield much easier. So here we go with the first step. You want to soak the windshield down really well with this rinseless wash. It's diluted 20 to 1. I got about 20 ounces of water to 1 ounce of rinseless solution. And this is the Adams rinseless wash. I'll leave links to all the products in the description. But soak it down and let it penetrate so it breaks up all the road grime. Next, take a microfiber towel and clean the surface thoroughly. You don't have to go crazy with it, but you know, just go over the surface enough times to get everything off. Now to the second step, which is the clay process. You want to soak the windshield down again with rinseless wash. Take your clay bar and go up and down in vertical motions, cover the entire surface. Then spray the windshield down a second time and then go horizontal and cross hatch everything. So that way you cover every angle of the windshield and make sure you remove all the contamination. Now to the third step, which is to use an isopropyl based cleaner. This is Throwback by Shine Supply. Spray about three or four sprays onto the surface. Take your microfiber and just go through and clean the windshield for the third time. Now to the fourth step, I'm applying Nano Glass by Pearl Nano. Before you use this, you want to shake this up like most coatings. Apply about 10 or 12 drops to the applicator. You can also apply some to the windshield. I like to start in up and down straight, straight line motions, cover the width of the windshield. 
It's real easy to apply this. You'll notice it'll go on real easy. If you notice it starts to get thin as you're applying, add some more to the applicator. And continue, add some to the windshield. After going in straight line vertical motions, I'd like to cross hatch and go horizontal. That way I cover all the area of the windshield. Thing about this coating is it pretty much self levels, so you really don't have to be too crazy with removing it. You can let it self level. If you see any high spots, you can remove them with a microfiber towel. Yeah, I think you can definitely see the difference. I'm gonna go back inside so you can see from the inside too. Okay, so I got the tape off, and I think you can definitely tell. Look how hazy that is, and look how clear that is. Hazy, clear, hazy, clear. You know, and probably most of the haze and film is probably more on the inside than anything. So, uh, you know, yeah. And like your boy Ed Bassmaster always says, Oh, would you look at that? Just look at it. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. So I hope this gives you guys a good process that you can uh, gain a lot of clarity with your glass. And I'll probably do a rain driving video just to show just how much difference of visibility this is going to give you in the rain. Uh, because that's very important. You know, to me it's a safety thing. And uh, I just want to share this knowledge with people. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up, please subscribe, and uh, really appreciate all the viewership and all the subscribers as of late. It's been awesome picking up new people here and there, and really thank you, thank you, thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.